The promise of liberty and riches readily advanced years ago from the Caribbean to the stifling port taverns of the old world. There it found its way to your ears as well. For you, the passage, a crew, and a small ship were quickly, let's say, rounded up. But now what? Now where liberty, fame, and above all, the riches have yet to come. Your crew's already honing the knives. And if all the next raid brings is merely a few crumbs for each of them again, they'll simply boot you out. Or worse! A truly big catch. The Spanish treasure fleet on its way to Europe, packed so full with riches that it nearly sinks into Neptune's arms all by itself. Now that would help you, indeed. But alone on your puny cockle shell, you'd have to be completely out of your mind to head into battle against the best protected ship convoy in history. You need a better ship to do that, a larger crew, and above all, a gang of insane pirate captains flying your flag, who know precisely what they're doing. So, Captain, the sails are set. Where's the voyage headed for? Oh, oh Skipper, you truly pulled out all the stops last night. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought a human being can drink that much rum. And then your wild ideas that we'll grab ourselves the Spanish treasure fleet. I hope it's clear to you that the crew will take you at your word. Well, you'll get it done all right. But say, you really don't look well at all. We'll practice standing straight again. <laughs> the main thing is you can still steer the ship. Excellent. Let's sail to that town over there. Hold it. Stop. We don't want to sail too close to town. After all, we don't want them to see us grabbing one of the merchants. One more quick look around that no military convoys nearby. With the black flag. Arr! Off to plunder. They look more like our cup of tea. Get the cannons ready. Ah, yes. The sea battle. We'll be carrying out the major part of our trade there. I can smell the gunpowder already. First, take time to make yourself familiar with all the things you see here. When you're done, navigate the ship closer to our friends. They're actually coming toward us? Well done! In the next round, we ought to get within firing range. Then place yourself so that we can tag them with a genuine broadside.
They won't take that for long. Don't let up, Skipper! We'll send the landlubbers to Davy Jones! See what we've captured. Well, Captain, let's sail into town to fit ourselves out a bit. We're sure to find a few good seamen in the tavern. Better if we haul down the black flag again. We don't want the people in town to snitch on us right away. Land ho! I always wanted to say that. <laughs> Remember, Captain? Yesterday, there was rum aplenty here. If we need supplies, we can get them here. First off, I suggest we go to the tavern. My throat's all dried out. That smell. It brings back memories, don't it, Captain? You see that guy back there? He looks like he'd make a good captain. Just what we need. Break the ice. Maybe he's willing to join forces. Fantastic. Your silver tongue always does the trick. Let's test his skill right away. We'll grab us another trade convoy. Oh, wind. Uh, I was supposed to talk about wind. Hold on, I, I know I jotted it down somewhere. Oh, oh yes. When you sail before the wind, you're much, much faster. Okay, guess anyone could figure that one out. With a second skipper, we can lead not one, but two ships into battle. That ought to be easy pickings.
howling hurricanes are we good. Ha ha! If it keeps going like this, we'll need larger treasure chests soon. Let's get down to business. The cutthroats on our crew won't take it on the chin forever. At some point, they'll want to see a few gold coins too. Which means we'll have to divide the booty soon. Now we're back where we started again. And I thought it was just the rum that's making everything spin. Then we'll give the crew what they deserve. Drum up the folks and let's split up the loot. Sail back into town and we'll clear it up over a mighty swig at the tavern. You're the captain, so you can also specify how much of the booty you want to share. The more the crew receives, the better they'll find it, of course. But a bit of advice from me. Don't give them too much. They'll get used to it. The next time, they'll expect just as much. With time, you and the captains are becoming more and more experienced. When you've amassed enough experience, you ought to split up the loot and invest the experience you've gained in new skills. So, Captain, you probably thought you were done with divvying up the gold and could sail on now. Sadly, no. We still have to draw up articles of capture for our next cruise. We pirates just love our articles and codes. It's quite simple, too. You make a couple of wild promises to the crew, and the boys elect you captain again. But watch out. If you don't keep your pledges, they'll hold it against you. Perfect. Well, then put your signature here, here, and here. Uh, do you want to keep a copy for your files? Good. Things can move on now. Well, if you're truly serious about the Spanish treasure fleet, then we ought to visit an old acquaintance of mine. Back then, he was mate on a Spanish ship that freighted gold and silver to Europe. He's an old geezer now, but he might have a few bits of useful information. <laughs>